Then obviously you've been on a great run. Magomed is still no joke and is still one of the top Bantamweights. How do you get yourself up to make sure, hey, you can treat him just like you did the first time and when you didn't have that previous win over him? You know, I feel, um, you know, I think I know something that everyone else doesn't, you know. I put him to sleep and I'm in control. I'm in control of the fight, I'm in control of everything, you know. And I feel like I can do it again, so, um, you know, that's, that's how I look at it, you know. I kind of just... Take it a day at a time, a new challenge, and you know, the only way to um, tame the tiger is if you put him out, you put him unconscious. So I'm gonna be there in six weeks to do that. Love it, thank you. You've been training with a lot of different partners and that's one of the benefits of being in Vegas. Um, how important is that to keep leveling up and just testing your skills? And you know, obviously there's a lot of confidence there when you get to work with a lot of high level guys like yourself. Yeah, just seeing other uh, champions or guys that are fighting for world titles or at these highest levels, it's good to see. Um, you know, obviously I train a lot with Marab, Jeremy, who just fought Patricio. Um, you know, so many good, great guys, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I don't uh, gauge myself off of it, but I, I think we all kind of, uh, we level up together. So it's good to have those rooms, and I feel like I'm a top of you know, I'm one of them. I'm among the best, if not mm -hmm. the best. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, I know whoever I'm going to compete against, you know, if anything, they, you know, they have a problem on their hands. Yeah, and there's, there's fans that feel you are the best bantamweight in the world. Like, do you get that sense from the fan base that people know, like, just seeing the type of wins you're getting, you're not just going out there and winning, you're stopping these opponents? Like, do you, do you feel the love from the fans from that? Yeah, I feel the love, but it's just playing out, you know, 100%, 1,000%, I am the best in the world. Mm -hmm. I have the weight class, I have the credentials, I have the finishes, you know, um, no one can compete with that, so, you know, and, and the way I do it is different than everybody, you know. Mm. I'm, only, I'm almost unscathed in my last 18 months of fighting, so, you know, I'm going to continue that and uh, just prove it to the world. And beyond Magomed, like, are there any other challenges you want to achieve in your career? Like, you've, you know, been beating these guys, you've been finishing them, um, whether it's an opponent or just, you know, maybe a place that you want to fight. Like, what are some goals you have going forward? Um, just win everything that's in front of me, you know. Uh, everyone's talking about... You know, the guys that could be matched up, you know. Me, personally, I've beaten, or if not teched or finished, you know. Mm -hmm. Everybody that's been in front of me, so I can only fight the guys that they put against me. Mm -hmm. you know? If they put anybody against me, I'm not going to last, so I'll finish it. Yeah, and just, uh, you know, we, we talked a bit about there about, you know, people, can, you know, regarding you as the best bantamweight. Do you feel like the Pettis win, especially, I know it was a while ago, but do you feel like that was one that really maybe woke some of those casual fans up that didn't know much about you? Because that, obviously that was a big name. Yeah. What's that going to wake anybody up? Because he beat Patricio Pitbull. Yeah. You know, it's not going to wake anybody up. You know, um, uh, they see my training footage and you know what I do in the gym. Yeah. That'll wake everybody up. Like, right. And that, that's not happening. So, you know, that Pettis win is just a staple in my. You know, it's just a notch on my book. And like I said, I can only fight the guys that they put against me. And I'm here to attack everybody. You know, finish them all, uncon you know, uncontested, not even close. And, um, you know, soon enough they'll know, you know. If Sean O'Malley was in there with me, they'd smack him up and finish him in about two rounds. So I'm the best in the world. 19-1 versus 18-1. Absolutely. More finishes, you know. Doesn't matter. And just last one for me. Uh, it's been a couple of years now you've been in Vegas. How much do you attribute that move to, to, you know, leveling up yourself, just getting to, you know, be around so many high-level guys and also just, you know, having the resources in Vegas that, that a lot of fighters love? Yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to be around those guys and train. And, um, you know, obviously Tatiana's honing in on her first UFC title, so, you know, we're trying to do a, you know, a double threat here, you know, so. You surprised Ta they're not bringing Tatiana in the cage tomorrow? I'm, I'm kind of shocked by that, to be honest, just with everything that's going on with that title fight. Like, you, I think most people assume she's going to get the winner. She's going to get the winner, and, um, you know, she should be there already, so. I'm not surprised that they're not bringing her in there, but, um, you know. Uh, why, why do you think that is, though? Just curious. I'm not sure, you know, we're not actually going to the event tomorrow, but we're going to be watching it, and um, just like everyone should watch the Unbreakable documentary on right. HBO, um, you know, we're going to be here, and uh, by the end of the year, I'm going to have um, a couple more belts, and she'll have the UFC title. Fauci, you've set an incredible run over the last 18 months. What has it been that has allowed us to see your striking on more display in these last three fights? I think it was just, you know, Rufian Stotts talking a lot of shit, and I had to put my knee through his face, so, um, you know, that kind of let me, uh, kind of, you know, kind of, you know, showcase my striking, um, sh showcase a different element of my game. Normally play it safe and just submit everyone, beat them kind of easy, so, 
it was nice to get my first knockout, do it for a million dollars, a couple world titles, you know? I mean, they talk about Sean O'Malley's knee over Chito Vera. What's better than that? Patchy Mix knocking out Rufian Stotts, 60 seconds for a million dollars with one knee, you know? So, um, I'm the best and, uh, you know, that's just it. Now that you've got the taste of what a knockout is like, does that mean you're going to be going after them more and not just submitting everybody? You know, whatever it plays. I guess um, my last fight I had so much anxiety, I guess, because I had uh, such an advantage over one man, you know, in a certain area. I felt like I needed to take him down and finish him because, uh, you know, I was just so much superior than him. But going forward, um, you know, especially my next fight, you know, I'm fighting one of the best Dagestani fighters, you know, an ACB champion, one of the guys that beat Pichu or Yan, you know, who they say is so dangerous. You know, I'm looking to either knock his ass out or submit him. I know that you were looking for bigger and better things. Is it at all been hard to get up for this rematch and think about it? You know, it excites me, man, you know. Yeah, I think he thinks, like, I think he thinks I caught him with a guillotine and uh, he's going to come back and show me something. So I'm here to, you know, thumbs down on that, you know, put him away.